So I'm going to show you a really easy and quick extension for Genially, which allows you to have objects flying around your page to choose different destinations. And then other objects can pop up as well. So I'll show you what it looks like. Here, for example, I want my little rocket man to fly to a planet. I can choose any planet I want, so I can go in any order. I could make him go to this blue planet. And once he's there, this arrow comes up. Or then I want him to fly over there and this arrow comes up. Or you can have the same again, but without anything appearing when he arrives. So there's no right or wrong order, but you could use this as a menu because if you add a link to the arrows that pop up, then you can only get to the red page if you fly there. So it's quite similar to the star fill activity or extension, but the difference is that in Starfield you have to have a certain order before you get the reward object, while in this one there isn't really a reward object. But it's very easy to make, so you just need this blue template slide. You need to download this from the presentation. You take all the objects from it and put them on your slide. So here I've already prepared a few objects that I want to have. So first of all, I need the object that is going to move. This is this object, which I just group with my robot here. It is important when you choose your object that it points to the right if, if it points in any direction. Because as you saw with the rocket here, as soon as you start flying into this direction, it will flip around and face that way. So it will only work if it is originally um, right facing. So if you can't find a picture that faces to the right, you could add a, a picture to a PowerPoint presentation. So for example, here I've got this lady, but she faces to, to the left and I need her to face to the right. So I can just take this white dot and turn around and then I can right click on her, save, as the pic uh, save it as a picture and I can then add her to my genially presentation. Okay, but here I've got my little robot that faces the right way. Then I've got two destination buttons well, by just copying, pasting them. So I put them over my destinations and you can see they have these numbers and they change automatically every time you create a new one. And then you need to go out of the page and back in again to see what the numbering is. So in this case, I've got zero and one. So every time you create new ones, if I uh, copy and paste this one, now it's X again. So I need to go back out and back in to see that this is destination two. So the numbering always starts from zero, then one, two, and so on. Okay, we don't really need two in this case. Then I've also got the click zone. And again, it has numbers. So this is click zone zero. This is X. So I go out back in again and now I can see this is zero this one is one so this is important that it matches my destination because the click zone is where I need to click to make my robot move to this destination the destination does not need to be grouped with anything it just needs to be in the right place so the top corner of this destination button is where the top corner the top left corner of this robot will land on so keep that in mind. So the best thing is if you wanted to line up with an object, you could just highlight the two objects and then use the align feature here to make them exactly overlap so that this corner is exactly right. Okay, for the first planet, I want the robot to fly there if I click on the computer. So I group this one together. For the second planet, he needs to fly directly to the planet when I click on the planet. So I want to group this with the planet. So you can see, you can group it with the thing that you want to be the target, or it can be something completely different. Okay, then this yellow box just needs to be somewhere in the page. It will be invisible. And this is the item that will appear once the destination is reached. So in this case, I want um, these two words to appear. So again, I copy and paste. I go out of the slide and back in again so I can see that they have the right numbering. 
Yes, zero matches this zero and this zero, and one matches all the ones over there. Okay, so I want to group these two together, and I want to group these. And uh, the nice thing is I could now add some interactivity here as well. So for example, if I click on planet one, it will then take me to the slide with planet one. So I, the only way of getting to this slide is if I fly to the planet first, this word appears and then I can go there. Okay, let's try it out. So if I click on my purple planet, my robot flies there and planet two appears. Or if I click on a computer, he flies to the other planet and then I can click on planet one and it takes me to the planet. Obviously I made the mistake that I forgot to put the robot in the foreground. So always make sure it's the top layer. So he actually lands on top of the planet there and not behind it.